okay so sai let's proceed ahead with your uh, snap mock for decision science now that is uh, yes, the iit bhu mtech uh, intro right yes sir okay sai uh, you must have studied uh, these subjects of inventory management in your college yes sir can you tell me the types of inventory sir types of uh, inventory so types of inventory sir actually i i don't have any idea about that okay let me tell you sir i have raw, gone through different deal, models in process finished good have you not heard uh yeah yes sir raw material semi finished goods and finished goods uh sir i have studied about uh, different models of uh, inventory okay can you tell me the models yes sir the first model is uh, economic order quantity model which is also known as uh, infinite rate of uh, replenishment model and uh, the second model is uh, 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 production consumption model and the third model is uh, 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 price break a uh, discount uh, with price break and the fourth model is uh, uh, eoq model with shortages okay uh, can you tell me something about uh, uh, just in time uh, yes sir sir it is a method okay which is uh, uh, used by japanese companies uh sir in this uh, case what basically happens is uh, 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 no inventory is kept in this case uh, a kanban uh, system is there uh, in which a cards is used so with the help of that uh, so the whole process goes on uh, using cards uh, we use that sir okay, any idea about abc analysis yes sir abc analysis stands for always better control sir in this case the inventory items are classified okay based on their value sir uh a stands for uh, class a uh, class a items uh, stands for uh, means uh, uh, class a items uh, uh, there are uh, only 10% of items uh, which accounts for 70% of the value and in class b uh, there are 15% of items uh, which accounts for uh, uh, around 15% of value and in class c there are 10% uh, of items uh, which accounts for uh, uh, 70% uh, Okay, if we are to use just in time, we should use it for A type, B type, or C type items. Sir, uh, we should use for uh, A type, sir. Since in this case, the items, uh, uh, the percentage of items is less, sir. Is it because it is less, or is it because it is costly? Sir, uh, because of it, uh, it is costly, sir. Mm. Okay. Uh, can you uh, say tell me something about quality control and how it is different from quality assurance? Sir, quality control is basically concerned with the uh, comparison of actual performance with standard performance. Uh, if there any said, uh, if uh, is there any deviation is observed in that case, uh, corrective actions are taken. Uh, whereas uh, quality assurance. Uh, uh, Sir, actually, I don't have any idea about that. Uh, sir, can, can you define what is a quality? So, quality is a, a relative term, uh, which uh, which is used uh, with the reference of uh, the use of the end product. Means it depends on the perspective of the person, sir. Is there any relation between quality and the cost of the product? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Uh, there is a relation. So, sir, if, if we want. If I ask you to draw a graph between cost and quality, cost on x-axis, quality on y-axis, what graph will you get? Sir, I'll so just tell you. me. Just tell me without drawing. Uh, sir, can you repeat, sir? Cost on x-axis and quality on y-axis. So it will be a straight line, sir. that means as the cost keeps on increasing quality keeps on increasing yes a positive slope okay uh, sai you must have heard about quality control tools quality control tools let me uh, give you an example like ishikawa diagram cause effect diagram have you heard about that uh, yes i have heard sir but i haven't gone through it the part and cpm you must have studied right yes sir actually this is a network diagram right yes sir these are network models uh, which are used uh, in construction project and research and development okay so what probability distribution they are based upon uh, 
sir part is uh, basically uh, based on sir uh, beta distribution mm. the time estimates okay so can you tell me why crashing is done sir uh, cra uh, crashing is basically done to sir minimize the project duration uh, uh, means uh, and uh, uh, okay what happens to the cost during crashing of the network so cost will increase sir surely uh, yes sir sir the direct cost will remain uh, will uh, remain constant but the uh, the cost of crashing will increase but indirect the overhead cost, cost will, will increase, increase. Huh? yes in indirect cost will increase but indirect cost is time dependent as you reduce the time of project indirect cost should decrease uh yes sir uh, overhead cost uh, is the uh, comes under the indirect cost uh, so it will decrease uh, but uh, uh, at the expense of uh, crashing cost uh, means uh, we uh, come to a optimum solution sir okay sir you uh, must have heard about uh, ergonomics human factor engineering it is called uh, no sir i haven't gone through it herblicks no sir okay so uh, have you studied time and motion uh, study you know what is time and motion study uh yes sir time study i have gone through there is something which is called normal time and there is something which is called standard time are you aware about this yes, uh yes sir uh, standard time is basically uh, uh normal time and it all allows uh, allowances sir personal allowances and different kind of uh, how do you measure normal time of an activity so normal time uh, um, is basically based on the performance uh, rating factor of a human who is working but which devices do you use to measure this sir stopwatch have you heard about memo memo diagrams uh, no sir okay uh, do you know anything about taylor's management theory scientific management theory by frederick taylor no sir Mm. he said that the work can be you know measured in a scientific way and the work can be divided in a very small components and scientifically we can analyze it any idea about that no sir no idea okay let's talk about transportation and assignment uh, models you have done that yes sir yes what sir what is the difference between transportation and assignment models sir a transportation model uh, can be sir uh, non dangerous non dangerous solution also as well whereas assignment model is no sir transportation can be degenerate as well as non degenerate whereas assignment uh, model is only uh, non degenerate means in this case uh, uh, sir in this case the number of allocations will be equal to the summation of uh, rows and columns minus what one. if demand and supply are not equal what will you do sir i'll balance the uh, means uh, model by okay. adding dummy uh, row or column mm -hmm. have you heard about the vogel approximation method yes sir so it is uh, basically used to find out the basic feasible solution yes so what is opportunity cost opportunity cost yeah because um, vogel approximation method is based upon opportunity cost yes. no sir no idea in operational research you must have uh, done slack variables yes sir and artificial variables yes sir tell me the significance of slack variables and artificial variables uh, sir slack variables uh, basically uh, represents the unutilized resources and uh, they don't contribute uh, towards profit okay yes sir whereas uh, artificial variable uh, is used uh so slack variables are uh, surplus variables uh, no sir artificial variables are surplus variables uh, which is used in sir minimization problem okay how do you know that uh, from simplex table that the solution is unbound uh, sir the if the value of replacement ratio is negative or uh, uh, infinite in that case the uh, the solution will be unbound and how do you know the solution has multiple optimal options sir 
sir uh, uh, multiple optimal uh, sir if the uh, slope of the objective function uh, means uh, is is in parallel with uh, one of the constraint in that case uh, we'll get a multiple optimal solution any idea about depreciation what is the depreciation uh, no sir no idea can you tell me something about the direct and indirect cost yes a direct cost uh, uh, directly uh, related to raw materials uh, machines and the labor uh, whereas indirect cost uh, involves uh, many things like uh, uh, salary to watchman or, and uh, higher uh, level officers and uh, rent of the land electricity bill and all those things uh, comes under indirect cost stationary okay. items and the salary of an accountant is what kind of cost uh accountant sir is an indirect cost sir mm. because he is not directly involved in the means uh, production process manufacturing mm. process any idea about variable and the fixed cost uh yes yes sir sir uh, fixed cost uh, does not uh, depend upon the uh, volume of a pro uh, volume of uh, production whereas variable cost depends on the uh, uh, volume of production okay fixed cost is direct cost or indirect cost so fixed cost is a type uh, in the comes under indirect cost sir. and all uh, variable cost are direct cost yes sir okay so uh, you must be knowing in uh, you know mass production systems something yes, like in automobile field automobile companies yes sir the mass production requires which kind of plant layout uh, sir mass production requires sir a product type layout and what layout is there in the hospitals hospitals yes uh, sir is a process kind of layout is it not fixed position layout all the doctors and nurses are coming to the patient yes i it's a fixed position layout sir okay. okay sir so i have asked you more or less uh, questions from all topics given in your decision science syllabus yes sir and your yes, level sir. as of now out of 10 is a 6 you need to go up yes, to 25 you have not yes, studied sir. the topic which are provided to you in fact yes, on the panel of your pedia you have been provided all these topics yes sir so actually I, actually i didn't have any proper idea about uh, what are the topics uh, that are going to be asked no, so they now i sent you for decision science right yes sir sir decision actually they have sent uh, topics for written test and uh, so for the interview i'll go, uh, i'll go through the so content available on the so you understand written and interview is going to be from same point yes sir so we revise that uh, and sir uh, uh, dedicated uh, module is kept on the panel of your pdf please go through that yes sir yes sir definitely right okay sai